And first tonight, those protests once again stretching now three hours beyond curfew. CBS 2's Ali Bellman has been following these protests across the city today. Ali? Well, Christina Maurice, it seems the police are cracking down on the curfew even earlier tonight than before. At about half past eight, we started seeing officers arrest peaceful protesters in Manhattan and right here in the Bronx. It was still daylight when witnesses say a standoff began between officers and about 500 protesters. And just a short time ago, we did see a corrections bus take away several people. And all this is just the tail end of a full day of demonstrations. Coming to Manhattan like a wave over the Brooklyn Bridge, thousands march united Thursday. It's not only for George Floyd, it's for all the unarmed black people. Some protesters even arrived early on the Manhattan side, waiting to greet those marching in. We want him to see that there are people waiting here for them, being there for them, that the community is going to stand with them. Hours and hours they walked through Foley Square to Soho, Greenwich Village up to Columbus Circle, moving swiftly around the grid, their message unwavering. We want an innovative um, police force for an innovative world that we live in. It's the eighth consecutive day of protests in New York City, but it's the first day for Aisha Mayer. And protesting and being with my people makes me feel more united. The 8 p.m. curfew came and went once again, with many continuing to march peacefully defiant. It's honestly just a commitment to the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, so many people out here doing their part. It would be an absolute shame if I didn't do mine. Less than an hour after curfew, we were on the Upper East Side when police started handcuffing about a dozen demonstrators. Well, it seems the curfew may have uh, curbed looting, but it has not deterred the peaceful protests. And the demonstrators that we've been speaking to say they plan to continue this every day until they see tangible change. We're live in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx tonight. Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News.